Wednesday, Hopesters, and some nice pretty sunshine shining out there. I'm just getting around. It's about 9 in the morning. Casey stayed here a little bit late getting ready this morning, so it allowed me to sleep a little longer. I think you can hear. I've got some sinus stuff going on. It's been bothering me for a couple days. I think it's because I ate too much bread because I have a gluten allergy and I can always tell I made cinnamon roll French toast for Dominic and I <laughs> yesterday day before yesterday speaking of breakfast now while I'm making my bed here I think today I'm going to start with a really easy recipe that some of you might like gluten-free pancakes with two ingredients yeah and they're awesome so, uh, let me get this bed made, and then I'm going to show you how I do that. Okay, these pancakes are super easy and good for you. Take two bananas that are browning up pretty well. They're getting sugary. By the way, usually I just do this with one banana and two eggs. So, doubling it for two bananas. And if you already know how to do this or you just don't want to watch me cook something, you can fast forward to this time right here, which will skip over the cooking part. This is a good recipe to have also when you've got some bananas that are a little past when you would eat them normally. Okay, apparently I'm making enough bananas for the next few days. <laughs> Let's look for my mash. Mash the eggs and bananas together. Okay, throw away a couple of, that got a little overdone. All right, and there they are. Pancakes made out of bananas and eggs with a little bit of peanut butter and syrup. Mm. I don't know. Uh -huh. um, I, I can't take a sour and I put it, and I take the back last night. And I played with my mom too. Yeah, but what are we doing right now? I'm mom getting dressed. Yes, and we don't have any time for you to finish your lunch because why? Because I did it before. Because you took too long to eat. Can you put this back on? Goof around bed. instead of eating, and we don't have time. I love you! I love you too! Got Your shirt to put away. Most pink fish. What do you want? Pink fish. Pink fish. Hey, pink fish. <laughs> pink fish, are you sleeping? <laughs> Come on, it's time. Dominic's got to go to school. He wants to say hi. Oh, what do you want? Oh, can I, can you sing me a song too loud? I just want you to get ready for school so I can go back to sleeping. song for you. Hey Dominic, hurry up, put on your jeans and your shirt, go to school and leave me alone so I can go back to sleep. You can't go okay, back I'll see to you later. I'm tired. Yes. I'm trying to <laughs> Dominic, let go of his let go. Yeah, tell you what, give me a handshake here. Okay. 
Alright, I'm going back to sleep. You get dressed for a drop. Don't put your chair in my mouth. Okay, okay, I gotta go. You can't go sleep. Oh, my eye! Don't grab me. Do you want to go to sleep? Do you want to go to sleep? Okay, good night. No, Have fun I broke at school your eye. today. Have fun at school today. Have fun at school today. See you, pink fish. I'll see you, Dan. I don't know why you did, but that wasn't very nice. <laughs> it wasn't a snake. <laughs> <laughs> Stop doing that on the uh, Stop. I'm extra sizing. Oh, you're extra sizing. That's what you are. <laughs> I need to be exercising you. Come on. <clears throat> oh, there's your bus. Leave your sandwich. Bye. I'm doing slow. Leave your sandwich. Bye. Have fun at school. Bye. Bye. Bye, Daddy. <laughs> that is exhausting. But at least I got a free sandwich out of it. With all that noise gone, Alicia got Hudson all ready. And she's in a great mood, ready to go to school and do a good job today, aren't you? Huh? Yes or no? Oh, I'm going to need a big smile that tells me you're ready for school. Do you got one? Come on, sugar bears. Daddy's going to give you squeakies. Oh, goofers. Let's get your coat on. It is 49 degrees right now at noon. So I don't think we need her foot cover today. We're just going to get your poncho on, get you on the bus. I think your mommy's going to be home early today, I hope. I've got laundry and dishes and sweeping floors and I've got to get the downstairs cleaned up and I still need to edit a couple more old videos. Again, are you guys still liking the old videos? I'm still gonna do them. I'm just curious. Let me know in the comments. Bye Hudson and have fun at school. Oh, there's my smile. <laughs> it's so nice out. I mean, I'm barefoot right now and leaving the door open. <sighs> Uh, I know there was something else I was going to get done today, but I don't know what it is. I know this, Casey leaves tomorrow early in the morning for Dallas. So she's gone Thursday morning until Saturday night. So the next couple days, I'm not going to really, really clean the house. Just kind of like let it go. And then on Saturday, I'll take care of business in here. <laughs> Oh, you got a car turning on lights? Oh, cool. Those are the brakes. You try. All right. You try, Dad. That's okay. So, yeah, so he's racing. Had to come down here and restart Hudson's water. Huh. Yeah, I just jumped forward, I guess, but the kids are home from school. I have been cleaning all day. I am getting ready. Well, I was getting ready to sit down and edit a couple of more episodes here and got a ways notification that Casey is going to be here in about 20 minutes which would not be enough time I need about an hour and a half and I don't want to be in the middle of that when she gets here and I like to you know spend the evening focused on her especially since she's leaving and going out of town in the morning let's turn this a little bit so I can lean here <laughs> I probably won't record anything else for today uh, reason given I've been wanting to talk about something I see a lot of comments from people saying, hey, Dan, like, you you know, what a great attitude. Talking about the positivity that I have. I want to thank you guys for the comments. I love those. Those are great. And it really helps me to stay positive when I hear stuff like that. But here's the thing. I was not always positive. I was pretty pessimistic for a while there after Hudson was born and I went through a lot of depression and therefore I went through a lot of counseling for that and I would say if you're in a place where you're feeling angry maybe reach out for some of that therapy definitely find a professional someone to talk to don't just you know talk to your friend about it uh, because they they may not have the right answer for you it really does come down to one thing, and that is to practice. They say doctors practice medicine. Well, they practice medicine because they're constantly learning how to be a doctor. 
To be in practice is to stay learning. And so if you want to be positive, you've got to practice every day. Decide to be happy. Now that doesn't mean that you're going to decide to be happy and you're automatically going to be happy that day and that you're just happy, although that is possible. It means that you need to decide to practice happiness, practice positivity, to practice being in a healthier state of mind every day, every hour, every minute. So you've got to focus your mind on, okay, I want to be happy six months from now. I have to start practicing being happy. I've got to almost fake it till you make it. You've got to look for things to be happy about. And trust me, if you look hard enough, you'll find them. So every day, look for three things to be happy about. And it could be something so simple, like I woke up and I was able to breathe. Maybe it's that I'm not that guy, that that guy's got it worse than me, and therefore I'm happy that my life isn't as bad as that guy who cut me off in traffic because he is running late for an appointment or whatever it is. Take the time every day to be happy. If you try to learn to be a guitar player, you'll practice and you'll practice and practice for weeks and months before you're ever able to play a song. Well, you've got to practice the building blocks that it takes to be happy. Being thankful, being mindful, all of the good things that you can think of that you want to be, practice being those things. Again, the rule of the house, the only way to it is through it. In other words, if you want to be happy, if you want to get to being happy, you've got to practice being happy. You have to be happy. Be the thing that you want to be. So with that, I'm going to say to you guys, to the world, you may be one person, but the one person, you may be the world. So be somebody's world. And if that one person is you, <laughs> it could be. Love you guys. And... Uh, I don't know, if something cool happens tonight, I'll share it, but ah, I don't foresee us doing anything crazy tonight, so I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching our vlog, guys. If you want to subscribe, you can click the white circle that's right down there. If you want to see yesterday's vlog, check the one that's right over here. And if you want to watch something that YouTube picks for you, try that one.